Hey everybody, Coach Valady here with another 3v3 analysis. Uh, this time we're here with VPR. Uh, Abyss you'll hear said in the replay, but we're going to be talking about things as a team. Um, how to play standard as a team, how you should be rotating as a team, things like that. It's a nice kickoff. Um, but immediately here, you notice that there's no one that's getting ready to follow up the touch. Um, Abyssal's rotating back since he just made that, since he just went for the kickoff, he knows that someone else should be following it. And both people are in the back, um, not watching that, so can try to figure out who should be. So both players got the corner boost, but nobody is going up for that. Um, based off of the initial kickoff, I would say that um, Pulsar here should be following up, and Deity should be sitting back and then going from there. Um, but the main thing here really is just that nobody is even attempting to follow up this kickoff touch here. So I'm pretty sure, like, Abyssal wins here. Um, I mean, it, it's pretty neutral, but that's in, like, prime hands for Blue to be taking. I mean, even the first Orange to challenge missed that. That's, that's almost a free goal. Yeah, and someone else is going up too far... And not getting back in time. Yeah, that's a pretty rough spot. Um, I see why Deity is kind of waiting for that upfield pass, but if Deity's gonna be up there, then Pulsar shouldn't be anywhere near that position there. You've got a couple of orange members kind of hammering it on net, so don't want to be like rushing to start a play when you're not secure and getting it out from your half of the pitch anyway. Yeah, Pulsar should have already been up at that. There's someone at the nets. Um, these rotations keep just dying out. I think a chip shot without dodging might have produced a little bit better of a situation there for your teammates. Yeah, so if... See, this is rough. Um, Abyssal here has a better line from the net at the ball if things go past um, Deity there. But I would have Deity challenging that a lot earlier. Um, there's no reason to let them take it all the way like that close to your net. Yeah, someone should be... Deity should be coming up already for, for that. Um, There should be someone behind him, originally, um, Pulsar, and it's being backpassed, so I'd probably try to just create a better play on that. This skill seems to be pretty good at these rotations. It's a good challenge there, but I think you might have been able to hit that without dodging. Put yourself in a better situation to follow it up. Anytime you can do that, I um, pretty highly recommend doing so. Yeah, Pulsar shouldn't be shooting it forward like that. Um, what I'm seeing is that you guys seem to be playing the field around each other, but you're not playing with each other as a team. 
Um, you're like, you're playing that spacing pretty well, but no one's using that confidence in the spacing to be following up on each other's touches. You know, like, fast teams are so quick because they're working off of each other. It's not the same person hitting it really fast over and over again. It's quick because everyone's already looking forward to playing the touch off of their teammates. I don't think you should be going for that there. Um, <clears throat> you have... Like, you should have a teammate behind you around net there, um, Pulsar, who would have a pretty good line of sight at that ball and could chip it up. Because you sort of tap it back there into the corner, it makes it harder for your teammates to follow up, which is sort of, again, not thinking about playing it with each other. If you let that go back, then that could have been chipped up to you, Abyssial, who could have played it from, um, from up the pitch a little. Job rotating wide here. I don't think Pulsar should be going for that. He should be rotating back, letting you guys work with it. It's a good aerial challenge. I think he should have been up for that a little bit earlier, um, but that'll just happen with confidence. I don't know about Deity going back here. Um, I want to look at it from, from his point of view. So Pulsar goes and misses that, and that's in pretty good territory, but I think Abyssial should also be... Yeah, Abyssial is also back far enough to where he could save a shot if it came on um, at that point. So Deity could be turning around to 50-50 that, um, like that far up their half of the pitch without, without something too, um, too risky. But even just turning on it and playing it um, from there and trusting that player back as part of the rotation uh, would be how you keep the speed up with the play with each other. Yeah, someone else should have been challenging that. Um, they're both, they're both facing too far out of the net. Um, this is why it, it's really important to be making sure that you're using, like, every, like, millisecond you have to, like, adjust your card to a line of sight of the ball. Um, when you, when you make a turn in front of your net like that and don't get a little bit farther back in the first place, you're really limiting yourself on the types of angles that you can actually work with. I think that's basically it. Going for this wall challenge is risky there. Um, if you were more confident in Pulsar going back, I would, I would agree with that. But uh, the way those rotations were playing out with him wouldn't really like allow that to happen, like consistently. Uh, being successful. So, as I said before, basically, you guys are spacing your spacing your cars around the pitch well enough, but you're not taking advantage of that wholeheartedly. You're still being a little timid to challenge um, to challenge your opponents like around that 50-50 line, and but more importantly, just not following up each other's touches quick enough. Quick enough. A lot of you, you're y focusing on the spacing, but there are still opportunities where you're taking a touch on the ball, but it's not really with the teammate in mind. Uh, there are a lot of times where you're pushing it up the field, and you take a shot at net when it's really not necessary. Um, but yeah, just try to like keep positioning yourself to follow up each other's touches. You have three people on the field, so use that to your advantage to 
have like the one two two one plays going up the pitch and trusting your third to be cycling in and out as necessary and also rotating off as well all right so thanks for watching um make sure you leave a like if this video helped you out at all let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you around thanks